What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play on Port Royale 4. Thank you to the guys over at Calypso Media for giving me a key so I could play this game. Uh, not early, but you know, play the game for you guys, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing Port Royale. We're going to be doing the tutorials. Uh, we're going to be playing through all of these because it has been a long time since I've played a Port Royale. Or even the uh, the European version, Patrician. It's been a long time since I've played either of these titles. Patrician 4 and Port Royale 3, I've played a decent amount on. Uh, Port Royale 3, I didn't play on this uh, account. I played on my old one because it was years ago. And Patrician, I did play on this account. I did try to do a YouTube Let's Play of that years ago, but my computer back then was absolutely fucking shit. So, we're going to be playing through this game. Like I said, we're going to be doing the campaign. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the campaign. So we're going to, there's the Spanish campaign, which is what unfortunately we have to play. And I don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in the sense of like, I don't like Spain. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I'm English. I would much rather do this English. However, I may do all of them separately, depending on how much you guys like it and how much I'm able to exact the same amount of enjoyment out of this game as I did originally. And as you can see, I've played a literally a simple auto save, and I didn't even play a day or two. I literally just, I, I got the game last night, uh, again, courtesies of Calypso Mead, if you want to buy the game, the link will be in the description down below. Um, and because of that, I was obviously playing D&D, &D, so I sold it while I was playing D&D, &D, tested it out for like 10 minutes, uh, you know, checked everything out, checked the, uh, all this. I do need to make sure I change this back to full screen, though. It's because, uh, it, my, my PC at the moment, I'd record all full screen, so that should be better. Anyway, so we're going to be playing for the story, we're going to play fun, and we're going to be having a great time, and I am rusty as all hell, so let's do this. Let's do the control basics. So Sammy will explain to you the basics for every successful venture in the Caribbean. This includes camera control, selecting town buildings, as well as trading commodities and dealing with convoys. Take 10 minutes. So, ooh, these, the first few parts are going to be very heavy tutorial-wise. After you complete all the tours, you can order bonus, you can order the bonus ship Queen Anne at the large shipyard in your home. To oh, that's nice. It's a little bonus, you know, getting, getting yourself through the tutorial. Ahoy, landlubber. You're volunteering to come aboard? Usually we have to fill them with rum, drag them aboard, and ship them off before they sober up again. All right. My name's Sam. I'm a captain here, and there may be some things I could teach you. The most important thing is to know where you're sailing to. Climb into the lookout. You can also look around in all directions. To know exactly where you are, of course, you need a good naval chart. Here in the area, there are 60 towns. Spanish, English, French, and these money bags from the Netherlands. And of course, pirates from all over the world. I'm sure you'll recognize one or the other convoy. For example, these could be merchants or military convoys. The only way to find out exactly is to get close enough with one of your own convoys. Which is not always a good idea. Check out Port Royal, your hometown during this exercise. This is the town on the island in the middle of the Caribbean. Your convoy is in the port of the town. Select it. No vessels, no trade. It's as simple as that. Such a convoy consists of up to ten ships. But for you, one is fine for now. Until you can hire sailors and a real good captain, you'll have to show that you can handle yourself. Take a look at the different parts of the convoy. Got the commodities, we've got the ship, we've got a schooner, not bad. A route We're and a captain. We're not sailing around here for fun. It's about trade between the towns and commodities and gold. Select the town Port Royale to open up the town dialogue. But select the whole town, not a single building. So don't zoom in too far. A town is nothing without its inhabitants. These consist of workers and their families. The workers toil in the businesses and on farms and produce the commodities. The fine gentlemen like to come up with an attitude but it is very important that the inhabitants are satisfied because otherwise they simply run away. The supply of commodities plays the biggest part for satisfaction. Now select the production tab. Sure, every town also produces its own commodities, up to seven different ones. 
But people want more. And that's where trade comes into play. And your convoy. It brings the people what they cannot produce themselves. Now select the Trade Between Town and Convoy tab. Everything that people want can be found on the market. Or maybe not. And then they get dissatisfied. Each item also displays production, consumption, and the current price. The better the demand of a commodity is covered for the next weeks, the lower the price. That makes sense, doesn't it? So commodities produced in a town are usually quite cheap. Now select grain and buy 20 barrels. While the grain is being loaded into your convoy, let's see where the shortage is. There you can then sell the commodities with profit and make people happy at the same time. Now close the town dialog. If you zoom out of the map far enough, you will see more towns northeast of Port Royal. Move the cursor over these towns to see the commodities they produce. Tortuga looks good. Send your convoys there. Make sure the whole town lights up when you send a convoy there. After all, he's supposed to dock in the harbor and not drift around outside the town. Now we'll wait until your convoy arrives in Tortuga. If you want to make a rapid progress, just zoom out. The further you zoom out, the faster time will pass. Makes sense. Nope, still going 2.5 that game. Okay. You no, know <clears throat> let's just zoom in and what can I? Can, uh, damn it, you can't lock in. Oh no, I don't want to rename the convoy. I want to. I wanted to follow the convoy like a. Uh, <clears throat> like what's it called? Like a little uh, thing. Oh no, it is moving quicker. All right, fair enough, game. You're not. You're right. You're not wrong. Ooh, a military one. So yeah, we're gonna be do. Oh shit. Go to to talk. Go to Tortuga. No, fuck. It's the middle mouse button, right? I'm trying to remember the controls. Ah, uh, so we're gonna be playing this game for a while. Like I said, um, probably do a full campaign as the Spanish, and maybe do one as the English. If I, if I, you know, if I'm still, you know, play, if still, well, I'll, I should still be enjoying it, but. It's more importantly if you guys are still enjoying it. But we'll of course see. Ah, arrived in Tortuga. No evening without beer, rum, and brawls. And no trading without permission. So open the town dialogue and get a trading license first. Now open the trade tab again and sell all of your grain to the town. Great! You still have to get used to all the commodities and prices, but through trade you can earn the most money. For this, I offer a special course about the Caribbean economy. And there is also a lesson about creating automatic trade routes. By the way, in Port Royal, they need wood. Buy 50 units and return to Port Royal. There is work to be done at the shipyard. Until the convoy reaches Port Royal, a tip from me. Convoys cost money, maintenance, and repairs. Avoid empty trips and load your vessels as much as possible. Yet yeah, you keep telling me not to fill my ship up. What a twat. I'll let you. I'll let you off, Sam. You're being a bit of a. You're being a bit sus, but I'll let you off. Pretty sure schooners are decently fast vessels, so it shouldn't be too bad for us. There we go. We're about to get into port. Port Royal. The smell of seaweed, old fish, and hope for prosperity. Zoom in on the town until you see the shipyard and select it. Convoys that are on the road a lot, the shells have to be scraped off regularly. And that's what the shipyard is for. 
But you can also get a new barge here if you need more cargo space. Buy a new vessel and get out of here for now. Your vessel is still in the shipyard and you can't even see it. You have to add it to a convoy first or convert it into a new one. We do that at the lighthouse. Select it. On the left, you can see the selected convoy and your unused vessels on the right. By selecting a vessel, it switches sides. That way you can enlarge, reduce, or dissolve convoys. If no convoy is selected, you can create a new convoy with three vessels. Now add your new vessel to the existing convoy. Not bad for a landlubber. The basics are in place. One more thing. Whenever you come across one of these info icons, you can use it to open the appropriate pages in the manual for Caribbean merchants. Try it. The info icon will always bring you to the right place in the manual. You can also open the manual at any time and just browse through it. All right, you've got the basics down, I hope. But there's a lot of people out there just waiting to make a rookie like you walk the plank. So I'm recommending my other classes as well. Don't worry, they're shorter. Let's keep going. Let's get as many of these done as we can in the first session. First part, sorry. All rested up and ready for the Caribbean economy? Let's go. First, select your convoy in the harbor of Port Royal. Is that clear? Check the hold of your convoy to see what you just loaded. We'll need it later. A lot of beer. Beer is important. Does not make you as drunk as rum and not as sick as spoiled water. Now open the town dialogue of Port Royal. To do so, select the whole town from a greater distance, or if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Here you can see the inhabitants who live here and have to be taken care of. About one quarter of them are workers. Some of what they produce can be traded with other towns. Below you can see which cultivation and mining commodities can be produced in the town and how efficient such a production would be. Handicrafts such as clothing can be produced equally well in all towns. People always ask for all commodities and the variety of commodities affects the satisfaction. In small settlements, however, simple commodities are more important. If the town grows, the inhabitants become more demanding and the upscale commodities becomes more important. Now switch to the production tab to see the production of the town. Each town can produce a maximum of seven different commodities. Here you can see what is produced in Port Royal per day. This is much more than the inhabitants themselves need. The surplus can then be traded with other towns. Your businesses will be here later. Now switch to the trade between town and convoy tab to see the commodities on the town's market. Here you can see all commodities that are available, sorted by their importance for the inhabitants. The first column shows the fill level of a commodity. This is the ratio of supply to demand. From two green bars on, a commodity is no longer scarce. From four bars on, it is in abundance. Here you can see how many commodities are in stock at the market of the town and in the selected convoy. The convoy must of course be anchored in the harbor of the same town. By buying and selling, you move commodities between the town and the convoy. Here you can see what the town produces and consumes. This includes commodities that serve as raw material for other products. Compare stock and fill level. <clears throat> the longer the stock lasts, the more secure and satisfied the citizens feel. The price of a commodity changes constantly because it depends on supply and demand. The higher the fill level, the lower the price. For the beginning, you should remember, buy from two green bars, sell until two green bars. The last column shows the average price you paid for a commodity. Of course, you should always sell a commodity at a higher price. 
Take a look at the price of beer. The average price of your loaded commodities is lower than the current price in the town. People want beer, and you can give it to them. To do this, select the commodity and slowly move the amount from right to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue. Very nice. Now show what you have learned. There's an abundance of grain in Port Royal right now. Buy at least 100 barrels. Well, we'll obviously buy as much as we can before the price starts changing. The commodities are on board. Now you need a destination. I recommend Port-au-Prince, east of Port Royal. Port-au-Prince, you Set mean. Set up your convoy there. Open the town dialogue and get a trade license. Then you sell the grain to the town. Come on, give me the new game speed. Come on, give me this game speed, you motherfuckers. I must admit, this game doesn't seem like a game that probably a lot of you think I would enjoy, but it, it's... I actually really do get, enjoy games like this. Yeah, it's definitely something I uh, find myself enjoying a lot. I think it's just the, uh, the monotony, it's the slow growth. But it's definitely something I'm, I'm definitely going to be in having a lot of fun with this. I can say that for certain. I wish edge scrolling was on though. That would be a right. It would be nice if that was on. Come on, get to Port-au-Prince. I do wish there was like an input, like instead of just dragging, because I'm more of the like I'd rather write a number and then click and drag. Because sometimes I'll fuck up the click and drag a lot more than I'll write. I'll fuck up writing stuff. Like, say, yeah, it has to. You have to click and drag. That's a fucking cunt. Excellent. That was my Caribbean economy crash course. It's really very simple. Buy cheap and sell dear, and don't waste all the profits on drinks. You should now understand what the price of commodities depends on. In the beginning, you do the trading yourself. Later, you set up trade routes and leave the trading to your convoys. Of course, always to your specifications. Fuck it, we'll do convoy management and then we'll do that. will be the last tutorial we do for this session. Uh, this part, sorry. You want to sail comfortably over the sea and enjoy the wind and waves? Then you're in the wrong place. I want to teach you how to organize your convoys so that they yield more profit for you. And we'll start right away. Choose your convoy that anchors at Port Royal. Here you can see if the convoy has additional sailors. You can hire these via the trade dialogue if there are workers available in a town. Sailors are only needed by your combat vessels during naval battles. The total number of cannons of the convoy is displayed here. A convoy can only fight in naval battles if it has combat vessels, because only these vessels have cannons. If there is a battle, the sailors of the convoy will be distributed among the combat vessels. You already know the different areas of a convoy. Select the area vessels. Here, you can see the vessels of your convoy. It's important that you understand the difference between a vessel and a convoy, even if the convoy consists of only one vessel. Suppose you buy a vessel in the shipyard, then it will stay there until it belongs to a convoy. Only then it gets a crew and is put into the harbor. From that moment on, you can fill the vessel with commodities and put it to sea. Free vessels are something like dead capital. They are not operational, but they don't generate any costs. Two buildings in the town are important when it comes to vessels. The shipyard and the lighthouse. Let's first have a look at the shipyard in Port Royal. 
Select it to enter it. You have to zoom in close enough to the town, otherwise you won't be able to select individual buildings. In the shipyard, you can repair, buy, and sell vessels. As you can see, the vessel in your convoy could use a little overhaul. Get it done. Great. While the repairs are being carried out, we look at the vessels the shipyard is currently offering for sale. To do so, select the next area in the shipyard. Larger shipyards sometimes offer used vessels for sale. These can come from bankrupt merchants, for example. This is a good opportunity for you to get a new vessel quickly and easily. Just buy the two vessels on offer. This military frigate needs command points. This applies to all vessels with cannons. They can only be included in convoys that have a captain. And people trained in this field do not grow on trees. For the really big vessels, you have to prove that you are loyal to your nation and accumulate fame, here represented by fame points. Your fame increases when you do things that our dear Viceroy particularly likes. More on this later, in another lesson. Now look at the other parts of the shipyard. You can sell vessels which you don't need anymore and order the construction of vessels. However, this always takes a while and there must be enough building material available at the town's market before the shipyard can start the construction. To build new convoys or add new vessels to a convoy now, you need the lighthouse. Now close the shipyard and open the lighthouse of Port Royal. On the left side, your selected convoy is displayed. On the right side, you can see your free vessels, which are docked in the harbor. Just select a vessel to move it between the port and the convoy. If you have not selected a convoy that is anchored in the harbor, a new convoy will be displayed on the left side, which you can create with your vessels. Now close the lighthouse again. We have just talked about captains. Choose the captains tab in your convoy. A convoy is ready to go even without a captain, but a captain improves many characteristics and allows to carry armed vessels. Unfortunately, such captains are hard to find, and for each, you need a captain's license. You can get a captain's license from your viceroy, but more about this in a later lesson. If a captain applies to you, this will be displayed here. Now open the captain's dialogue. Here, you can see which captains are working for you, or who is applying as a captain. Every captain has other skills that will improve with time. Take a look at everything and then hire the captain. A captain doesn't work for free, so don't forget to assign him to a convoy after you hire him. Otherwise, you'll pay for doing nothing. Now assign the captain to your convoy. Very good. With the help of their command points, captains can lead armed vessels. The higher the level of a captain, the more command points he can use. And that concludes this lesson about vessels and convoys. Well, guys, in the next session, we sorry, pa, we will continue on with the training. Uh, I'm so far, I'm, I think I'm actually learning, and I think I'm knowing a little bit more about the game, and, you know, it's all coming back to me a little bit, but... Uh, in the next part, we will truly get ourselves, hopefully, through the tutorial and onto the game itself. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed, if you guys enjoyed, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord. Do a no give a big thanks to Clipso Media, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.